Listener. There's a weight loss drug that's going nuts on TikTok at the moment. You might have heard of Azempic. Yeah. So it's the diabetes weight loss drug, but now there's a natural version that everyone's talking about on TikTok. Okay, so instead instead of getting the real drug, which is apparently, like, bad, but also taking it away from diabetics. Like, rich exactly. people are taking it away from diabetics. Mm-hmm. So you can buy this um, natural one mm. online pretty easily from, like, Amazon or eBay for as little as 20 cents per pill. Gotcha. But experts are warning that yeah. the trend can be dangerous. Uh-huh. To tell us more, we have clinical nutritionist Sarah DiLorenzo on the line. Hey, Sarah. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hi. Thank okay. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to chat about it. Oh, this. aren't you? Yeah, nice. it's interesting. It's got, yeah, the experts are right. It's, it's, um, it is dangerous, but I'm excited to share lots of great content with you guys about it. Okay, well, tell us. So the, the, the new drug that they're taking and trying to lose weight, the natural Ozempic, um, mm-hmm. what, what, why is it so bad? Okay, well, there's lots of reasons why it's bad for you. And I'll start with basically there's things like there's the side effects people get, like constipation, diarrhea, mm. and they get gut pains as well. Mm-hmm. And I always say to people, when your gut has is upset it, and it, you've got those symptoms, this is your gut telling you by having things like constipation, diarrhea, and gut pains. And it's because berberine, which is what everyone's going crazy about now and has got that... 64 million views or something on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's up to. Yep. And yeah, and so it's called berberine. And mm-hmm. so what it does is it actually slows down the transit time. It interferes with our gut bacteria, kind of like antibiotics would. Oh, it's okay. also, yeah, it sort of has that same kind of impact. I mean, look, there's lots of health benefits to berberine, which I'll go through with you guys. But I do want to point out mm. that berberine actually reduces in our gut bacteria what we call short chain fatty acids. Now these short chain fatty acids, our body, our gut makes for us, the bacteria in our gut makes for us, has linked to things like anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, cardiovascular, protective, lowering your risk of obesity. And it's also great for people who have got diabetes. And the other thing about, and so that kind of cancels out why people want to take berberine in the first place, if that makes sense. But mm-hmm. the other thing about berberine is it interferes and this is what the experts are saying it's interfering with medications that people might take so there's a lot of contraindications like say for example you're taking medication for diabetes or heart health or cholesterol blood pressure blood thinners or medications that make you drowsy it can interfere with breathing so you can't just go and take berberine okay so don't so even though it's going off on tiktok you're saying no one there's too many side effects like no one I, I, no, I'm just saying get do it under the guidance of a doctor or a healthcare yep. professional. Do not go and take it because especially if you're on medications. If you're a super healthy person and mm. you have no gut issues and you want to try a bit of berberine, I'm like there's benefits with it. Like it's been used in Chinese medicine for such a long time. It's a great alternative for people who do have diabetes. It's been shown to be great for things like our cholesterol. It's been shown to improve symptoms of depression. It's been shown to ha- like to help with people with non-alcoholic fatty liver syndrome. It doesn't, and I want to point out, it doesn't work. It's not really nature's Ozempic because it doesn't work in the body the way Ozempic does. So Ozempic, which again is just a whole other conversation, and I yeah. can talk for ages about yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so Ozempic acts on hormones. Berberine is metabolized in our liver, okay. and it does show that it can help with breaking down carbohydrates and breaking down sugars and um, also reducing the blood sugar levels, which is why it's great for um, diabetics. But okay. I want to share with you guys. Okay, so let's just say you decide you want to try berberine because yeah. everyone's but trying berberine and they're all obsessed with it. And you're yeah. a healthy person, you're on no medication. Yep. Mm. So I did find this really interesting study. So it was a 12-week study, and the participants in the study who took 500 milligrams three times a day, which is what's recommended, yeah. and the people who didn't. So over the 12-week period, they were all you know, taking berberine and and um, happily going along with their program. And guess what the findings were? What? If you took berberine, you lost a whole two kilos more. That is it. Three, that is it. And yeah. 3.6% body fat. 
than the, the participants who took the placebo. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. So a so, couple of kilos is all it's going to do. Yeah, and it's it's not the worst thing in the world, and you're not saying that you shouldn't take it at all, but take it under the advice of experts and doctors rather than people on TikTok. Just because it's been yeah. viewed 64 million times doesn't mean that it's good for you. I mean, I mean, Mikey and Emma, people want shortcuts. People yeah. are looking for a shortcut. Yeah, I love a, a shortcut. shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everyone wants a shortcut. I mean, I know, but, but the thing is, it's not the solution. It's, what happens is, yes, it's a shortcut. You might get from, you know, whatever, you've lost a bit of weight or whatever it is if you're taking Ozempic. And Ozempic's everywhere. Like, I'm astounded. I'm beside myself with Ozempic because there are, for lots of reasons. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's another phone call, but I just honestly, I, there is no short-term solution to long-term success with keeping weight off because all these people end up doing is they stop taking verbal yep. and I do they want to put it back out, on again. Yeah, exactly. But there is also there's no long term research or studies on mm. what would happen if you took berberine every day. That's a good yeah. point. That's a good point. All right. So we're saying no to berberine. We're definitely saying no to a Zampic. And there we go. Uh, Sarah De Lorenzo, our uh, clinical nutritionist. Now you've got a new book coming out, the Ten Ten Simple Recipe Book, out in August. Thanks so much. We Thanks, will not Sarah. be taking the berberine. All right. It's a healthy approach to health and wellness, long-term success. Weight loss is hard. Do the hard work. Change your style of eating. Adapt your new normal and your home and home. All yeah, right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot. Live everywhere on the Listen app. Download it and search R&B Fridays Radio.